back to another program at Cambridge Educational TV. So, first of all, I want to say happy 2022 and hope this year will be filled with joy and happiness. Today's program is about New Year's. Is a new year. People all around the world celebrate the beginning of a new year on New Year's Day. It's one of the oldest holidays celebrated all over the world. This event is celebrated on January 1st. Different cultures celebrate their new year on different dates according to the calendars they use. In Kurdistan, we celebrate New Year's Day on the first day of spring. The Chinese New Year is celebrated in late January or early February. How is New Year's Day celebrated worldwide? All around the world, people celebrate New Year's Day in various ways. One of the most common ways to celebrate the start of a new year is with fireworks. All around the world, sea skies are lit by fireworks as their clock strike 12. Aside from fireworks, there are traditions which countries have specifically for themselves. In Denmark, people smash plates as a sign of good luck, while the people of Brazil eat lentil in hope of manifesting a good fortune for the upcoming year. In the United States, people gather in Times Square as a big ball drop counts down to midnight. All countries around the world have their own unique ways of celebrating the New Year, with each of them having their own backstory. Why do so many people celebrate New Year's Day on January 1st? Before the reign of Julius Caesar on the Roman Empire, New Year's Day was celebrated on different dates, including March 25th and December 25th. But along with his reign, Julius Caesar changed the calendar and retained January 1st as the year's opening date. As the Roman Empire grew, so did the Julian calendar. However, with the downfall of the Roman Empire, December 25th was redeclared as a New Year's Day. Leap year then became a problem. And it wasn't until Pope Gregory XIII introduced a revised calendar in 1582 known as the Gregorian calendar. And January 1st was restored as the start of a new year. Why is the New Year's holiday important? The New Year's holiday is considered important as it is a symbol of beginning. The New Year is not just about celebrations and resolutions. It symbolizes motivation for a new chapter. The main purpose of making resolutions is larger than life as it aims at living better, healthier and happier life. The traditional activities which have been passed down from generation to generation are in hope of a prosperous year. What are New Year's resolutions? A New Year's resolution is a tradition in which people set a goal they want to accomplish for the upcoming year. This may include the beginning of a good practices, a change in an unwanted habit. This is the time where students may want to use their New Year's resolution in order to quit bad habits, try new studying methods, or explore a variety of ways to improve their productivity. New Year's resolutions are helpful in improving lifestyles and increasing productivity. What can kids do during the New Year holiday? I'd suggest they study, like not too much studying, you know, since it's a holiday. You study, you play, you have fun, you take trips, and many more. The New Year's holiday gives a great opportunity for kids to spend with their families and friends. People can spend time with their family and loved ones. The holidays are a great time to be around those you care about and exchange gifts. Throughout the holidays, kids can bond with distant family members and the people they missed throughout the year. This can be a great bonding experience for everyone. What is a Kurdish New Year and how is it celebrated? Nowruz is the Kurdish New Year. In Kurdistan, we celebrate the start of a new year on March 21st, which is the first of Nowruz in Kurdish calendar. This day is also the beginning of spring. The Kurdish New Year is derived from an old myth. The myth narrates the story of a dictating king who was unjustified toward his people. The king had grown a pair of snakes on his shoulder. Upon doing so, he was told by his minister if the snakes were to get hungry, they would feed off him for food. Threatened, the king ordered his guards to murder two civilians every day and feed their brain to the snakes. One day, the guard wanted to kill the son of a Kurdish blacksmith named Kawa. Kawa was brave and strong. The threat toward his son was the final straw for him. Kawa gathered the citizens of the kingdom and they marched towards the king's castle. There, Kawa killed the king and lit a fire as a sign of their freedom. Kawa killed the king and lit a fire as a sign of their freedom. Ever since that day, people have been lighting fires on the first day of spring to celebrate the beginning of spring and the start of a new Kurdish year. 
we've came to the end of this program. I hope you all enjoyed it and hope this year will be the best year of your life. Um, make sure you study well for your exams. Um, yeah, and make sure you play and have fun during the holiday and everything. Bye!